All right, all right, all right. We have returned to our totally normal, not weird or strange work environment. I don't remember what we were doing. Ah, the janitor, yes. Must find the janitor. Wait. The hiss isn't coming back, right? Oh, nope, they are. That's just rude. Everything is normal and trustworthy. And <laughs> not a mimic, probably. Definitely not a mimic. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, son. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. Oh. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. Well, it's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. There we go. Very small couple of hours chop. Something tells me it's gonna be more than that. <laughs> ah, ah, yeah. ah, yeah. ah, you think there's a doctorate in this? Mm -hmm. I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. I have no idea That's what he's saying. You'll make a great assistant. Mm -hmm. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. Okay. This house has a vermin problem. A bad one. Yes. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, Berkele. Uh -huh. The pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. Mm -hmm. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep <laughs> up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. Oh, have you? You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The works on the task board here. You can do later. Then you have time. Vacation? <laughs> right. Yes. No one's gonna cancel my holiday or see it's gonna rattle. Okay. Don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. Uh-huh. You better go now so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. Do the what now? The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Yep. Burn the dress. Throw it in the fire. Burn mm -hmm. it all. Burn it into a reindeer, not into a moose. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, buddy.
God, that sucked. Come on. Whoops. I have no idea. I would assume he's supposed to make sense, but, uh... Well, I think I fucked that up. Who who be throwing grenades at me? Holy fuck! Yeah, the, the kind of like, uh-huh, right, kind of sense. Not the like, this makes total sense. tape there. Alright. No, like, information systems or anything? Just, just the box? Alright. This led to the challenge that we did. Ah, this is where we left off. Day will be over before you know it. Hey man, what are you trying? I'm trying a dog. I'm trying the pyramid. The what? The pyramid. What's a pyramid? Black Pyramid. It's in the astral plane. Airplane? Astral plane. It's big, white, and empty. Or is it? It's a Why is this puppet strangely dimension. aggressive? The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white. And never find your way back home. I miss my home. Uh, never show that to me again. <laughs> Ever. Like, I, I could never see that again and be happy that was alarmingly f f fucking something i don't fucking know there's something strange on the list of weird puppets i don't want to see again mm-hmm
piled up around the furnace and the maintenance sector. Alright, that's fine. There we go, now that door is open. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. All right, trench. That wasn't strange. Or, you know, clear. I think we'll probably see those puppets again too. An object of power escaped the Panopticon a couple weeks ago, and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it. So if anyone sees a merry-go-round horse zipping around the sector, alert me immediately. Do not try to contain it on your own, and definitely don't bind yourself to it. Your security chief, Simon Arish. I was a little late for that, buddy. So there's trash around here then. Around the furnace. same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. Mm -hmm. We're holding our ground, but... Whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, so what's inside is dangerous. Dr. Darling seems to know we'll be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling it? Well, that's catchy. Well, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. That's a good thing. Try to stay alive.
Hey Simon, I got your message. Yeah, if someone in the sector is asking about RT, just tell him you'll handle it and leave it at that. Under no circumstances should any personal personnel intervene with his day-to-day -day routine. I told you everything I know about him so you could better deal with his odd habits, but yes, it's still very much a classified matter. Also, I saw your report about the quarry worker who wandered into the foundation. Detaining him was the right move. We'll figure out what he saw before we decide on the next steps. Cheers, Lynn. P.S. In case you hadn't noticed, something is up between Trench and Darling. I know this isn't your strong suit, but try your best to stay out of it. Yeah. Blockages in pipe C prove that. I don't know what garbage it's supposed to be. I don't like that. Fucking little exploding breaches. Furnace chambers this way. Where'd the other two go? There. All your base belong to me now. Whew. All right. Furnace chamber. This is where there's supposed to be trash I'm supposed to burn, right?
the explosive hiss. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Whoopsies. It just says help burn the trash. What am I throwing in here? That wasn't it. By trash, did Ati mean barrels full of hazardous biological material? Seems like they yes. some environmental regulations on waste disposal. He did mean barrels of biological material. And I'll get it done. Biohazardous biological material. Alright. Cool. I'm sure throwing it in a furnace isn't gonna cause a problem. Come here, Burl. <laughs> That's uh If you, the furnace is talking it's probably not a good thing. Totally normal, nothing strange or weird going on here. Totally normal, everyday things. Just feeding a furnace, biological hazardous materials because it's hungry. This color gradient is really harsh in my eyeballs. Get this. The accounting department still says they haven't received my expense reports. They say the receipts probably got lost in the mail tubes because of a shift or a threshold or some such fuckery. And if I have the original, if I don't have the originals, they can't verify my expenses for reimbursement. This is such bullshit. Why do we even use these fucking tubes if they just split, spit our mail out in some other goddamn dimension? Just venting here before I make a formal complaint unless useless pieces of shit. Rodriguez. I don't know what to tell you, Rodriguez. We 
We all send our mail via the tubes. There's a... Oh, gosh. That looks, uh... Unsanitary. Hey, nice. All right. Back on mission. Oh, I should probably use my points. Five ability points. Hmm. To the coolant pumps and now we're in a cave system I don't like that sound yeah, me neither really weird yeah caves are not good for building foundations not usually no coolant pumps What am I doing with this core here? I mean, no, it, it definitely would not be good as a foundation.
is gross. Gotta always be a sewer level, huh? Okay. I just hold together a little longer. Now that that's dealt with, can I? There we go. And one more. There's one, that was two, where's the third one? That gross blockage down in the water system is back. What the fuck is it? And where does it keep coming from? And why the hell does Ati keep yelling nonsense at it? He acts like it can understand him. Of course he acts like we can understand him too. Guess that's just his brand of crazy. I'm gonna try a new drain cleaner. Extreme strength. Y'all think y'all motherfuckers can take me? Again, with the levitation. You guys are just rubbing it in now. <laughs> um Oh god Excuse
How do you like them apples? <sighs> you okay there? I don't have enough source. On to the next mission. To the energy converters. Confronting problems before they become problems. That's the way to do it. That's back to central maintenance. I thought the energy converters were this way. That just says the coolant pumps. We don't want the coolant pumps, we want energy converters. Ah, there they are. The energy converters. 
Let's convert us some energy. Before everything explodes. Yeah. That's the plan, Jesse. Fix this thing ASAP. Whoa. It doesn't affect whatever's going on in here. Oh, no. Whatever it is that's going on in there, I can't deal with it. So I'm not going to. It's right up. You need to fix it before the old twig pants inside the lines of shit. They thought they had the upper hand because they had the high ground, but little did they know, I am the high ground. Another shelter. Beep boop, knock knock, hello. Nice, more things. Do 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 do. Ding dong. Your phone is trying to Wi-Fi even though you turned off the Wi-Fi. Phones be like that sometimes, unfortunately. Next game is Wednesday at 8. Usual spot. Hazard owes me 20. Erish still on a fucking winning streak. Someone please figure out how he's cheating. Thompson suspended for a game because of that shady dealing incident, and Guy, I owe you 60 bucks. 
I brought beers last time, so it's Hepstonstall's turn. Remus. Oh. Hey, hi, hello there. Hey, hi, hello there! Fair enough. Just insert my gun in here. Ding dong. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. Will you? Will you really risk it? Because I don't think you're actually gonna risk it. it. Yeah, fancy director gun is also key because reasons. I mean, it is a really good mode of defense. Since apparently, if you're not worthy of being director and you pick up the gun, you're eliminated so if you tried to steal it to get the key and you're not worthy of being director well bad news and if you are worthy of being director well then you're the director so uh i don't know what to tell you it's a win-win situation for the gun lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Listen, Emily. <laughs> With the worst <laughs> consequence. Responsibility. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways... were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. 
Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her Polaris. As in a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. One was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. In level three access all of a sudden? Hell yeah. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. That was vaguely threatening. They say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet. Bullshit. <laughs> they say the new director can has superpowers. Bullshit. <laughs> You've never recorded any dis Still lacking in... Obviously you never read the P6 data. The director is a superhero. Bullshit. We've never recorded any type of power like that, obviously. You're not smart. To the research center. Obviously, you haven't read Batman v Superman issue 14, 
where the director throws a rhino through a chicken wire fence without hurting the rhino or the fence. <laughs> Alright, but that is time. We will be right back. Gotcha. Now that. That was one hell of a shot. Ho, ho, ho. You having girl problems? Problem, son? I feel bad. I got 99 problems. Right, and we're back. All right. See you later, alligator. Central Research. Ritual Division, which I can't get into. It would be really useful, a flashlight. Hey, so I was just wondering about the plants and research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, that janitor does have a nice voice and the plants sure seem to like it, but maybe he could just switch it up a bit. I'm getting pretty tired of the tango. And where did these plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted and people seem a bit too much. If you ask me, are we being invaded by houseplants? Well, worth looking into. Synchronicity is a phenomenon long recognized by the wise, but only recently given a name by science. It is how we rationalize events connected by no indefinable causality, yet clearly conjoined in purpose. How does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane? Why do hounds bail at the death of their master, which has occurred miles away? The world is unified in ways we do not yet understand, and sometimes we stumble across these invisible, unseen chords and wonder at the result. The visionary Carl Jung set, laid the road. Now we must walk it. My fledgling research department will make it our mission to reliably reproduce redacted behavior by the close of 1959. Once done, the mechanics of synchronicity will lay themselves bare in due time. We are striding into the future of science. History may not remember our names, but God himself will. If you say so, sir. I heard some glass breakage. Oh, shit. Excuse.
Y'all is rude. All right. Parapsychology. Cool, 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 cool. Dr. Darling's office up. Shelter. Possible AWE in which an unnamed individual experienced transcorporeality, transcorporeality via a phone line. Event is notably similar to AWE Redacted in which Redacted Redacted. Event response. Event is believed to have been caused by Redacted Redacted as a result of the following measures have been taken to prevent Redacted 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 Redacted. Very informational. Thank you. Dr. Darling, dear Dr. Darling. Dr. Darling is insistent that certain objects of power share a direct connection to the redacted, an entity or group of entities that we have little information on or little that I am allowed to access. In his written reports, he states that there is a clear link between these objects of power, the redacted, the astral plane, and the oldest house itself. His work supposes these links are innate, a fact ingrained into the very redacted of objects, such as the hotline or the service weapon. But what if these particular objects were never linked to the redacted, but had, the, but had that connection forced upon them? Isn't it strange that no other objects of power require such direct content with the redacted? Isn't it strange that using the service weapon or the hotline will, will result in grievous harm or even death if the user is not the director or at least worthy of that role? 
Why do we assume this involvement by the redacted is a natural fact and not something more redacted? <laughs> you pose excellent questions. Need to wear them. And what's the deal with the headroom resonance anyway? I. Fuck. Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not tracking your movements. We're listening to your conversations. While you're wearing them. We do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Think of them as a, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. One day that classified not water might pour in and You'll be glad you got an HRA keeping you alive. And if you don't have an HRA, it'll be, uh... <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. We're making more. Sorry, I felt a little destructive for no reason. <clears throat> resonance, resonance is there, but we can't see it. It vibrates around us, through us, from us. But what if the vibration is conscious? What could a force like that do? Redacted opened the door to a redacted I've called redacted. The redacted emits a force that is far beyond the forces we've previously dealt with. It has shown me so much that I have to wonder, is resonance the key element in all altered phenomena? AWEs, altered items, objects of power, do they share a common redacted that we've yet to discover? We can harmonize control points. What else would the correct frequency allow us to achieve? What if resonance has been the answer this whole time? The budget requests. I suspect my colleague, Dr. Harrington, has already contacted you asking for an increase in her department's budget. I'm not surprised. Parapsychology has always been the squeaky wheel with all the fuss but no results. Parakinesology has always been a stronger department. More breakthroughs, more tangible data, more usable research. I'm sure a man... Hello, hello, Wade. I'm sure a man of your esteem can plainly see which department is more deserving of budget. Alright, I don't need to hear about your bickering, darling. Hope you're having a good day, Wade. Hope you slept well, you woke up bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, ready for another day of being a day. can. What is this? There is down, but down seems a little dangerous at this point. We'll go this way. Hello, friend. Oh, there's more down there. Hello. Can you hear me? Ooh, a shelter. I thought you were gonna be... I thought you were gonna day being a dick. What? Uh, 
I thought you gonna, you thought I was gonna say you're being a dick. Wait, what? Wait. I'm confusion. Hey, I found the executive bathroom. <laughs> Why would I say that, Wade? Nobody's a hundred percent a dick. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> I don't have level four clearance yet. No, it's the, just the executive bathroom. Ah, it might be the upside down. He should not have gone down there. I'm unprepared for whatever the fuck is down there. Your next sub isn't even for like a whole month, Wade. <laughs> And if you have Amazon Prime, you get one free sub a month anyways. And you can't turn that in until after subathon. And that's if I make money. Don't need to be going around telling people all that crazy information.
I take no offense to that. You do what you do, home slizzle, home slice, home skillet. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Oh no, it's red. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Hello, hello, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? Uh, I'm um inside the wires. I'm lost. Ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? I feel like I'm stretching through the wire towards you. Don't hang up. I might go if you hang up. Go where, ma'am? Go, gone, away. Okay, you. Can you describe your surroundings? Unknown noise. Ma'am? Hello, ma'am? Dispatcher attempted to call the number back, but it was no longer in service. What is... That hurt my eyeballs. And there's another one there. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm, I'm gonna move away from whatever that is now. Again, darling, doctor darling, that was not very informative. The Astral Exhibition was originally built for astronauts to use as a training location, a place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane. 
Before diving into the real thing, we could have done a better job with it, but Redacted was being stingy with the budget. However, once we discovered the Redacted, we decided to repurpose the space, similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of the, their animals. We too hope to observe the Redacted's behavior in an environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it's just it just breaks everything we put in it, but Rome wasn't built in a day. Addendum. New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity known as Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. Ever want to play a tycoon on Roblox? <laughs> I do not play Roblox. was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It, it's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement. Native species always in the distance, and yet, contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astronauts returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Huh. A literal brain fog that kills you. That's... <laughs> special I can't believe they keep that thing here battery power, huh? What are you doing there?
doesn't have enough power. Finally had enough source to upgrade to the new gun, and down I go, like chopped liver. Keep enough, nice. Pierce, uh, construct the spin. The revolver. Better revolver. Deconstruct this stuff. Deconstruct it for source. Interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I went that hotline bling. I can only mean one thing. <laughs> Wait a minute, all the way back here? Really? All the way back? Whoop! That's fucking ridiculous. 
Ow. Ridiculous. Nope, that's the wrong way. Threshold remnants, okay. Well, at least I don't have to trap that thing again. That's a heavy. I'm in a bad place.
shot. Your base belong to me now. Why did it change missions? The study extends works of Irving Janis, Robert Barron, and others proposing strong casual links between groupthink. Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Stuff and things and things and stuff that I won't understand. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm sending the elevator for you. We need to talk. You got that right. More of you? Really? <laughs> Waiting for the elevator's never been so exciting. Do 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 elevator music. Marshall is waiting for you in the luck lab, just down the hall. Thank you. Claim this. All right, Marshall. I don't have a lot of time, so let's. Uh, there this? you are. I was starting to worry. I uh, definitely taking that. I don't know why, but I am. It's mine now. Oh, hey. Hello, Marshal. We don't have a lot of time. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah's dead, then. And I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone. Not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach.
Could you not do that while I'm... What's up, fools? If any of the troopers survived that. I don't think they did. That was a lot of explosions right there at the end. Yes. I'm dead. I can, but you have to have points. I don't think I have any points. I think we're going to have just enough time to give this one more shot. No, I have no points. Charts. As if you can find any... We actually have friendly soldiers this time? We do. This might make this fight a little easier.
thought it would make it easier, but it didn't. And that was faster than last time. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. We like it. We appreciate it. We're all about it, you know what I mean? I guess we could give it one more try. One more push into the fold. As long as it loads fast enough. I need help, and I'm not getting any. Well, just totally normal, normal things. But this is taking too long to load. And it's gonna, by the time it loads, it'll be time to call the game, so. Again, still trying to get my sleep schedule back under control so that we can do longer episodes. I'll be trying to to get this all started and fixed and stuff, but we will be returning tonight with more games. I just wanted to kind of give a little extra while I'm on break, a little, you know, so not you're not waiting all day. Um, but yeah. So thank you all for joining me, and until next time, good day, good night, good evening, and good games. Bye-bye.